Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Turkey braced for their anthem. Which player is best equipped for this game? It has to be Aaron Ramsey. We shouldn't forget the dreadful leg break he suffered, but he's rebuilt his career to a very high level again. And besides all his midfield quality, he's become a scorer of some great goals. Not quite, no argument for me on that one. That gets things running. And that's one way to annoy his teammates. And it's played forward. to get it forward quickly. Gets the better of his man. And the finish! Not this time. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. And they've been caught out here. Lepham. Plenty waiting in the middle. Up to meet it! Good delivery, no joy. Turkey can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. So Inju plays it forward. Under. So Inju. Ihan. Battling for the right to play in the early stages. Under. Gets it back. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Little doubt, that is a foul. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Lovely bit of skill there.
Michel Hanolu. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Out to the left it goes. Let's put a stop to that. Forward it goes. Plays it out to the flank. He's got options in the box if he gets his header. And the shot! Oh, just couldn't quite turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Sunchu. And there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Finds himself eased off the ball. Hoists it forward. He's got away. Gets up to head it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Wales can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Played out to the right. Ramsey. Ramsey gets it out to the wing. So nil-nil still, but both sides have had their moments. Going through. Massive leap! Oh, the header, but again the same outcome. How hard can it be to time the jump with the right contact? It's not that difficult, is it? So Inju goes looking. Forward it goes. Time to deliver. Shoots! Knocks it away. Goes direct to the front line. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Davis. Hoists it forward. So in Ju positions it. And that will be the last act of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. 
And we are up to the break. What a pleasant surprise to see how open this game is, is turning into. Just wondering if the two teams are, are going to keep doing what we've seen in the first half. I hope that a cautious aspect doesn't kick in. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, nil-nil. And the second half gets underway. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Towering header! Well, to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Ihan Tosun Mepham concedes a free kick for that. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Got the ball glued to his feet. Goes for goal! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Davis. Oh, that is lovely footwork. I had. And if you did take an extended half-time break, you'll be relieved to hear that you have missed nothing. for a throw. <laughs> Ramsey pumps it into the area. Rushed off the ball there. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And that's going to be a booking. I hand. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Great leap! No mistake! The breakthrough arrives at last! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch.
Turkey take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Beautifully done. So who's he picking out? Towering header! Oh, he's got that completely wrong. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Shalhanolu. Ramsey. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. And now the breakaway. Turkey are desperately trying to regain the momentum, and they've, they've certainly upped the supply. Pinged forward. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. And he's, he's one on one, sure, big chance! Should have equalised. Makes you think, Peter, they could have been doing this earlier. Still, it's encouraging. So Inju tries to get it forward quickly. Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu plays it forward. Turkey are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Lovely feet, out to the right. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. He gets past his man. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Battles to win it back. Tosun, Under, and that's it. Turkey hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams that scrapped for everything. Well, that's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.